Hey everybody, how's it going? Just hanging out here on this cloudy day it's here in Southern California. Um, because of our elevation, we're practic basically in the cloud. So I'm feeling a lot of mist on me. and It's actually really pretty, but it looks like I'm looking at a white wall because it's just all mist. I'll turn the camera around here in a little bit so you, can, so you guys can see. I'm smoking my Mario Grandi um, with a little um, on the bayou, Frog Morton's on the bayou. It's pretty good. It's very, very light. Can't taste a whole lot. It's nice. It's just really mellow. So it's October, and my birthday is coming up. Um, my birthday is actually on Halloween, which is really cool. Um, I grew up with a lot of dress-up parties and stuff like that. That was always fun, but. Um, Yeah, getting older. No big deal. Turning 35 this year. Um, no matter how old I get, it seems like anytime I go into a, uh, well, not anytime, but a lot of times when I go into uh, like a local tobacconist or, um, you know, little small indie like record stores, music stores, um, I don't know if it's because I look young or what it is, but I always get, uh, seems like I always get some attitude. It doesn't really bother me that much, but the other day I went into my local tobacconist and I just wanted to get a reamer because I'm, uh, I've been spending too much time on eBay buying estate pipes. And so I wanted to, you know, learn how to how to clean it all myself and I went in there and I asked if they had any reamers and the first the guy kind of looked at me strangely and said well how much experience do you have and I told him none oh well you don't want to do that just bring them in and I'll do it it was just really strange and I told the dude hey look it's it's an eleven dollar pipe Just sell me a reamer. I want to learn how to do it. You know, it's much more difficult. Anyway, he's just being really condescending. And I see, it seems like I get that a lot in a lot of tobacconist shops. When I go in, buy cigars, and I've never been in there before, and they just think I'm some dude off the street. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but don't enjoy it when people are jerks. I don't know, maybe it's a Napoleon complex or something, I feel. Eh, I don't know. I'm not going to analyze it. It doesn't really matter. But, actually, I'm, I am wondering, do, do you guys experience that at all when, when you go into tobacconist shops? Do you get that? It's a strange thing. I, I get it a lot. It just seems to be certain s stores like that. Not a lot going on with this tobacco. I don't know. On the pond, it's kind of, kind of mellow, very mellow. But I am excited for my birthday. Gonna have some friends over, hang out, have some cigars, eat some good food. I think it'll be cool. Actually, also, the other day I was. Um, going to smoke some full Virginia flake and I um, I set some out I rubbed it out and I set it out to dry 
and I kind of forgot about it for like three hours. Then I remembered and threw it in my, in my pipe and came out and smoked it. And um, it was still nice, but it seemed like it lost a lot of a lot of flavor. It seemed like it was. Um, more mellow not as sweet not as earthy um, so I'm gonna try to do it next time only for an hour because it, it's when it's too moist it's really hard to to keep lit but anyway how long do you guys let your tobacco dry I, I would imagine it depends on the blend or on the on the type of tobacco um, I smoke a lot of Virginia flakes so I'd be really interested to, s to hear how long. I know a lot of people do it for an hour. Some people do it overnight. But um, is it just me? Maybe I should just, I don't know, try it again. I've been letting my, be my beard grow out and my hair. Getting kind of a mullet going on, which is kind of cool and kind of cheesy at the same time. Please excuse any mullet having watchers out there. Don't mean to make fun. Just haven't seen them in a while. It's probably still some people rocking the rocking the mullet. It's all good. Yeah, not getting a lot out of this. Well, let me. Uh, that's enough about me. Let me turn this around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Let's see here. Give me a second. Okay. You can see here, normally there's a lot of mountains and all that good stuff out there. But it gets pretty cloudy up here and you can't see very far. It's actually kind of cool. Sitting out here looking at that. Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and uh, good smoking to all of you. We'll talk soon. Bye.